Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John. Some people call me Gio as well. Today I'm going to be going through the Lapu BST uh, plug-in suite, which consists of six different amps. Each track is going to have the same drum track and um, also going to be using uh, Nimbrini 2 rack Screamer and every amp. And uh, for this, I also don't have any bass guitars loaded up, just the left and right guitar and drums. One pan 100% left, one pan 100% right. So as you can see, my session of Reaper version 6.03, I, I have the uh, six amps loaded up. And um, they sound pretty good, actually. I've been using them for a very long time. They're all free. I have links in the description of every one of my videos that uh, dictate everything that I use in my uh, studio. Some stuff's not listed, but most of the stuff is. Again, guys, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me where I'm screwing off, tell me if it sounds good to you. I uh, appreciate all comments. And uh, yeah, thank you always for watching my videos. I just hit 100 subscribers, which is totally awesome. So I want to keep that going. So um, here we go. So the first one right here, I have um, the hybrid amp, which which mimics a Marshall. I have mine set to um, MCJ, which is a um, JCM 800 setting. Or you could also have it set to PLS, which is a Plexi Super League 100 uh, setting. For this, I have the Boost Disengaged. And these are my uh, settings, as you can see. Set in high quality, set to mono. And again, I'm, you know, each one of these is gonna have the Nimbini Analog Rack Screamer set in a typical way. And again, this uh, Nat IR, I think that's kind of a stupid name to be picked because why would you call something like Nat? It's kind of silly, right? But it is what it is. But um, nonetheless, Ignite Amps does make some pretty kick-ass uh, software and also real hardware. They're, they're pretty awesome. So for this, I'm running uh, an S Presence High on the left, two off Presence 5 on the right, right uh, pan 50-50. High pass is set to about 130 hertz, low pass is set to about 15 kilohertz. And again, each one of these uh, amps has this typical setup. So that's that amp, right? And then for the drums, you know, easy drummer too. I know it's cliche, but that's all I have. That and uh, uh, some other VSTs, drum kits that I have. But I like, I like using this. Hate preset, and the drum kit from HAL. Use the mixer for it. Nothing else on here. Just that straight up. The next one is the uh, Lee 456, which is an Ingo Powerball simulation. High gain setting. A little bit of drive. Focus and bottom switch is engaged. Set the mono. High quality. Those are my settings for that. Left and right are identical setups. Then the Lacto amp is next. This is a Mesa Dual Rock amp. Set in the orange channel, modern. And these are my settings for that. Over something on 2x, mono. Then we have the Legion amp, right? This one's not modeled after any amp. You just need another high gain simulation. Set on the red channel, lead, mono, high quality. Everything's almost noon, pretty much. Pretty killer amp. Then we have um, Luxtac, which is modeled after a Bogner amp. For the Uber shell. Set in the red channel, gain structure engaged, as you can see. 
Great switch engaged. The settings. Boost is also engaged. At the mono, 8x over sample. I like the sample a lot. I actually like all of the ramps. They're, they're pretty good. And then last is the uh, Solo C DST, which is uh, modeled after uh, the Soldano uh, Solo 100 head, which are pretty kick ass, especially if you like a lot of the 80s hair metal stuff, which I do. Uh, set overdrive, crunch, boost design, as you can see. Great switch design. These are my settings. High quality, mono. So yeah, I mean, I do like all different type of metal. Death metal, you know, Norwegian, melodic metal, uh, Swedish metal, whatever. Anything heavy like that. But I do also enjoy a lot of the 80s stuff, because that's when I grew up. You know? It's, I actually like a lot of different kind of music. Yeah, I enjoy listening to anything that's pretty much produced well. So, so pretty much that's what's going on over here, guys. I have a second part to this that's going to show you each one of these amps start to finish. So stick around and uh, give that a hearing. And uh, yeah, again, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.